So, dear students, you all know that the soft food is mixed with saliva and passes through the esophagus. You can see how it is passing. The passage is called as esophagus or food pipe by a wave-like movement, and then it reaches the stomach. Food gets churned with gastric juices called HCL. Remember hydrochloric acid, uh, you, uh, the acid that helps in the digestion of the food and is secreted by the stomach is called hydrochloric acid or HCL. Now inside the stomach, now the food is in a semi-solid condition. The digestion of the food goes as uh, most proteins are broken down into smaller molecules with the help of the enzyme called pepsin acting on them. So you can see in the picture, you see this brown big color. Can you see this? Uh, I'm sure using spotlight. So can you see this spotlight pen which I'm using? Spotlight is, you can see that I'm spotting over it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, what happened, huh? So, this is the one which where I'm showing you the light is nothing but uh, the, oh my God, God, liver. Okay. Okay. Let us come back. So you can see again, we are back here. So this foot pipe into a wave like movements through its tube called esophagus and it reaches the stomach. Once it's reached the stomach, this is the important place where you see that hydrochloric gastric juices and hydrochloric acid is secreted in the stomach for the digestion, okay? So now what are we going to see are the, how are all these digestive juices? If you look at this uh, part, can you all see this brown color? This is the liver, okay? And uh, here you can see a yellow leaf-like structure. This is called pancreas, right? Okay. So these are all connected through the ducts. You can see this duct from the liver, it is getting connected to the stomach. Again, it is releasing its juices inside the stomach. And similarly, if you see pancreas is also uh, connected to the stomach and the intestines. Where these juices are, uh, are secreted and they are responsible, like liver secretes bile, which is responsible for the digestion of fats in the body. And then, you know, this uh, pancreatic juice secretes, uh, pancreatic juice secreted by the pancreas help in the digestion of glucose. So that is how, you know, it works. And you can see that uh, the, these are, these helps in the complex food material. You are eating complex food, which gets again broken down into smaller molecules by the enzymes and pepsins acting on them. You can see how through the peristaltic movement, you can see that stomach is moving and all these juices are secreted inside and the food, how you can see that the pink colored food is getting digested into smaller particles. And before taking food in the mouth, take litmus indicator paper and touch it to the tongue. We observe no color change. So what you can do is before food, you you know the litmus paper test, you have already uh, done it in the in your classes, you know, previous classes. So can anybody tell me uh, what happens if the litmus paper turns blue? What does it indicate? Who can answer this question? Ramsha, yes, Ramsha. Ramsha, yes. If the litmus paper turns blue from red, it indicates that it's basic in nature. Okay, very good. Ramsha gets one point. And who is the other one who has raised the hand? Ashas. Ashas. Yes, Ashas. Can you tell me it's what the... happens if the litmus paper turns red? Turns red. Then it is acid in nature. Very good. Both Ashas and Ramsha gets one one point here. So what you are doing is now you are taking a litmus paper before you eat a food. Okay. And what do we find here is uh, the litmus paper is not changing its color. There is no color change. What does it indicate? 
if there is no color change? Who can answer this? Just raise your hand. Again, only Ramsha and Ashat. Yes, Ashat, tell me what does it indicate? It's neither basic or neither acid. Okay, so what do you call it? Ramsha? It's called neutral. It's called neutral. Alina, what do you say? Yes, ma'am, it's called neutral. Very good. Yes, ma'am. So all YouTube. three of you, Ramsha, Alina, and Ashas gets one point each for this answer. So now what happened is, so now we know that before eating food, the pH value in our mouth is neutral. It is neither acidic nor basic. So perform this litmus paper test again after chewing the food and swallow it. The litmus paper indicator turns blue in color. So what happens is now what you're doing is you're taking, you do this activity at home. It is very interesting to find out how the, you know, it is changing. Likmas paper is changing in your mouth. So once you are chewing, then it is, the Likmas paper is turning blue. So what does it indicate? It it's, is a it's basic. Yes. Very good. Add basic on this. Uh, yes, basic in nature. And now this demonstrates that amylase converts complex carbohydrates into simple sugar. So in your mouth only, amylase, amylase is secreted from where? Uh, yesterday we have discussed today before yesterday. Uh, from where is amylase coming inside the mouth? Who can give this answer? And whoever answers this will get two points. Amylase inside the mouth, from where are we getting them? What do you find in the, what are the glands that are present inside the mouth? Salivary glands. Salivary glands, Hanan. Who has answered this? Hanan, very good. Hanan gets uh, mm -hmm. one point for it and switch on. Keep your camera on, Hanan. So uh, Hanan gets one point here, very good. Salivary glands that are present in the mouth secretes amylase. And this amylase converts it. Amylase is alkaline in nature. So that is the reason it turns, alkaline is basic in nature. That is the reason litmus paper turns blue. So this test shows that amylase that is secreted in the mouth from the salivary glands is basic in nature. And then when it is uh, going inside the small intestine, the longest part of the elementary canal is the is small intestine. It is the site of further digestion of carbohydrates, protein, and fats. So most of the digestion and absorption takes place in the small intestines. And this receives the secretion of the levers and pancreas for this purpose. So pancreatic juices and the juices from the liver is secreted inside it. Alina, if anybody is switching off their camera, please keep deducting minus one to them. If their cameras are on, then only give them marks. And if it is off, give them minus one. So these juices render the internal condition of the intestine generally to a basic to alkaline one. Okay. And the fats are digested by converting them into small globules like form by the help of a bile juice secreted from liver. I told you fats are digested by uh, earlier also by the bile juice and the bile juice is secreted from liver inside the intestines. And this process is called emulsification. Yesterday you have got, I think this question, differences between digestion and emulsification. So now you understood what is emulsification the digestion of fats by the secretion of bile by liver inside the intestine is called emulsification. So now this process, now the pancreatic juices that are secreted from pancreas, it contains the enzymes like trypsin for carrying the process of digestion of proteins and lipase for fats. So even pancreatic juice helps in the you know, digestion of fats and proteins by an enzyme called trypsin. Now you can see then, then what is happening. Now studying the 
enzyme chart. This enzyme chart is very important. I, uh, you have to note it down so that, you know, this chart is showing different enzymes and digestive juices for their function. So it is important that uh, you should understand this and uh, this, how does the breakdown takes place? So I want everyone of you to further from here. So now you know what all are the enzymes that are uh, uh, and that uh, enzymes and juices. And similarly, you have got again amylase secreted by pancreas into the duodenum, and the digestive juice is called as the pancreatic juice. It acts upon the carbohydrates and uh, end products are maltose. And similarly, trypsin, it is also secreted by pancreas into the duodenum. We call it pancreatic juice and it acts upon the proteins and the end products are called peptones. And similarly, you get lipase is an enzyme which is secreted by pancreas into the intestinal wall, not in the duodenum, this uh, intestinal wall as well as duodenum. It is secreted by the intestinal walls into the duodenum and the pancreatic juice, it acts upon the fats and the end products are lipids. Now, peptides are secreted into the small intestines by the small intestines into the small intestines and we call it as the intestinal juice. It acts upon the peptides and the end products are amino acids. And sucrose is another enzyme that is also secreted into the small intestines uh, by the small intestines into the small intestines and intestinal juice. It is called as an intestinal juice. It works upon the sucrose, cane sugar, and the end product is glucose. So we see that most of the digestion takes place into the intestines. So intestines are the very important part of our digestive system. This transport of the products of the digestion from the intestines into the blood is called absorption. So most of the digestion doesn't even take in intestines, but the absorption, the, this product goes inside our body, through, uh, is absorbed by the intestines into the blood. That's how you get the energy to work. Until and unless this is not in the form of blood, if this uh, intestines are not absorbing, otherwise you will feel very lethargic and weak if the digestion, if intestines stop absorbing the food. So the transport of these products into the intestines, then internally intestinal walls has a number of finger-like projections called villi. It's very important that you have to remember most of the time you get it in your short questions, this finger-like projection are called villi. So these blood vessels and the lymph vessels are present in the form of a network in the villi. So from the villi, this absorbed food enters into the blood and this is uh, for, uh, these vessels and into a lymph, lymph vessels and that's how into the lymphatic system. And uh, thus after maximum absorption of the food from the small intestines, the rest of it is passed into the large intestines. The undigested food, the wanted, the food that is wanted by your body is absorbed by the small intestines into the blood and now the unwanted food is carried to the large intestines and from the large intestines here most of the water-like substance is taken up from this material and then uh, it is excreted out from the anus into the last part of the elementary canal. Right, this passage of undigested food material from the body by the way of anus is called defecation. That's how you, from the anus, the unwanted food you call is released and we call it defecation. Defecation. And the food that passes out of the anus still contains considerable amount of proteins, fats and carbohydrates, roughages or fibers of either carbohydrates or proteins. So, Thus, it gets entered there, and uh, you see that roughages of fibers, and then you have to you see the flow chart. Yesterday there was a question where you were supposed to draw a flow chart of your uh, foot passage. How is the foot passing through it? So this flow, this is how the foot passes from mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, uh, then esophagus, pyloric stomach, cardiac stomach, duodenum, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and then finally to the anus.
So now you can uh, note it down. So, so who all have completed? Show me your uh, pictures on the screen, please. Who all have completed? Please show me your uh, notebooks in the camera. Ma'am, uh, little part. How much yes. you have done? You please show me. Me to write. Yes. Can you show me? Who all has completed? Just show it to me. Only ha a part of it. Ramsha. Okay. Any or Ramsha gets half marks for it. Hanan, show me your book. Ma'am, two minutes. Ashas. Aziz. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Two minutes. Alina, Dhamma. show me your book. Show me Alina. Show me your okay. book on the screen like Ramsha. Only three only you wrote. Even you get half points and the time is up. If, uh, if you are unable to show this. I completed this. it. Alina, I yes, good. It. Alina gets two marks for completing the whole flow chart. Very good. And then we have Hanan. Ashas. Ashas has also completed. Very good. Ashas also gets two points for it. And supposing if the time is up and we are out of the meeting, those who have not shown will get zero. I'm so sorry. I don't want to give zero to anyone. But if you are not able to show, we have to. So uh, Hanan and Aziz, we are not getting only one minute left. And till now, we could not see your work, written work shown to us. Yes, Hanan, show me your book. You, Hanan gets uh, half marks, please. Only he has, he was concentrating in drawing beautiful uh, diagrams, but you know, beautiful diagrams are not very important. Understanding the logic. We don't want artistic diagrams here. We want scientific diagrams. That scientifically produced flow chart. So, dear students, tomorrow come updated with all the questions that have only that we have covered. Yes. So, except Ashas, nobody has completed. So, well done, Ashas. A big round of applause for Ashas. And I think today yeah, is I the highest marks. 